In this video, we're going to learn how to construct an angle bisector. First, we're going to do it using GeoGebra, but um, using the method we would use if we were doing it with the traditional construction tools of a compass and straight edge. And then, second of all, we'll use the power of GeoGebra itself to do it. So, we begin this one by uh, making a circle with center at the vertex and radius of some point along the, uh, the ray on one of the sides. And then I will uh, put a, an intersection of two objects and we can do that by either clicking on the two objects like this and it puts the intersection there or you can actually click on that intersection point. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to uh, construct or build a little segment here. Okay, and what we're going to do is now using the compass tool, we'll get the compass tool, and I'm going to measure this compass tool here, and notice that as I come wherever I go, that compass with the radius of FG follows me. I'm going to click on this E, and that throws a circle at center E with radius FG length. Now I want to measure that again and come in and make this here and now put a, a point on this intersection right there okay where the two circles of equal radii intersect and now what I'll do is I will get a ray connect the vertex of the angle to that point of intersection and that ray AH should be the angle bisector of angle BAC. Now, how can I show that? Well, I'll go up and get my angle measurement tool and I'll measure angle C A H and I will measure angle H A B and when I do that you'll notice that it throws the angle measures in. Let's get them so we can read them just a little better here. Um, it shows those two measurements as 29 point or 25.91 degrees right now. And so we can see that that really is a angle bisector. That's how to do it uh, mimicking the traditional tools. All right, but if we need to locate a angle bisector and we need to do it quickly and we don't we're not asked to do it by traditional means, traditional uh, directions, here's how we could do that. Let's just make us a new angle here. All right. And now um, I need to build, uh, I need to uh, make an angle bisector. So I select this. It tells me I'm supposed to select either two points, three points, or two lines. So I come out here and select this one and this one, and you'll notice it throws a bisector in there to bisect the angle. Okay, it also shows a perpendicular to that at the vertex, but that won't matter. But this here, and if you'll notice as we change this angle, the bisector appears to continue to cut that angle in half. 